Hello and welcome back to another video. In this week we will be talking about how Kotako makes a big mistake. And on the off chance, does anyone want a good vibrator? How about we get into this? Okay, I'm really excited to make this video because this I, I created all my uh, my videos for the week already sort of thing. That'd be going up one uh, one day at a time. But I thought I cannot miss the opportunity to take the piss out of someone. It's a British server ceremony. I'm so excited. I can't believe a big company fell for it. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh my god! If you haven't heard, okay. Um, well, I'll get up the, uh, the tweet real quick for you. I won't show you exactly everything because, um, like I said in the beginning. This is obviously fake, and I love it that people actually fell for it. So, to, um, from a fake uh, Halo 343 Industries Twitter account, it generally there's no tick mark, there's just the number seven. Um, all right, maybe if you like, <laughs> took one second go, oh, and that looks, oh, I guess, uh, somewhat. Looks like it, you could fall for it, and then you read right at the bottom, you're like, mm, no, this is obviously fake. And the amount of retweets, the quote tweets, and the likes is amazing, because Kotaku fell for it. I don't understand, how do you fall for this shit? So, in this fake statement, today I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. Building upon the community feedback and after extensive consultation with our talented and passionate dev team, we have made the difficult decision to delay Halo Infinite until the summer 2022. We understand that this will be disappointing news to many of you, and we share the same sentiments... Oh, sorry, I've, I've skipped tons of different things because I'm literally reading it from a... They've deleted the post, and it's like really tiny. So this is not a decision we take lightly, but simply put, the ongoing effects of COVID and global recession have made releasing the game this year um, an untenable position. Attempting to push forward to release this year would simply harm the well-being of our dev team and deliver an, an inferior finished product to the passionate and devoted fans of Halo franchise. We understand this will be a disappointing news to many of you, and we share the same sentiment. Halo Infinite has come such a long way, built upon the feedback and pure passion of our community, and remain 100% committed to creating a truly special Halo experience. We'll have more details to share in the coming months, but rest assured, all of us here at 343 remain committed to an open and transparent dialogue with the community in building this game. Halo Infinite is your game, your experience, and we promise to make it the best it possibly can be. See you in 2022, Spartans. Chris Lee, studio head, Halo Infinite. Now, this is pure genius, because on first inspection, yeah, sure. You could you could ideally say, uh, alright, maybe they could fall for it. And then the second tweet is, ladies, get the best vibrator from sunctional.com slash vibrator. And my god, if... That if you actually did any sort of just looking past the first tweet, you would realise it's a fake tweet. Hell, it's not even got a tick icon for most companies to have. And what the fuck were they thinking? Um, <laughs> they even made an article to the best of my knowledge. Not only did they retweet it, like it, and everything like that, they also made an article based upon it. That... Actually, I will uh, quickly show you the article because, my God, this is the best thing I've ever saw. So here we are. We've got uh, Kotaku's thing. Halo Infinite delayed to 2022. Updated, we got got. Oh, brilliant. Hey, everyone. I'm a dumbass. Yes, you are, sir. Yes, you are. I'm not going to say your name because I think we should all be given... Um, the chance of being redeemed and everything like that. I think everyone has a chance to make a mistake here and there. But when it's so public, when it's so big as a company such as Kotaku and specialises in news, you bet your ass I'm going to take the fucking piss out of it. So thank you so much, Kotaku. Thank you so much. As a British citizen, we commend you. We commend you to your stupidity. Oh. So hey everyone, I am a dumbass. Halo Infinite has not, to Kotaku's knowledge, B 
being cancelled, we fell for a fake tweet from an hindsight obviously fake account, follow account 53. It's not just that, there is also a multiple sex toys advert right at the bottom. You fucking knob. <laughs> On the eve of April Fools, yes, I realise how this looks, I regret the error. Kotaku regrets the error. Not only did the person who wrote this fail for it, but obviously the person who had to look at it, see word from word, the editor per se. I, for example, am not a news person. I, for example, would realise very quickly this is a fake source. I, for example, have a mic. I, for example, am British and an idiot. You lot, you've got a Big seam. What the fuck happened? Could you not do some simple research? Ha! <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. April 1st usually is so boring. There's usually fake tweets and everything like that. But my god, you fell for obviously a fake thing. And I love you for it. I fucking love you. I don't care if, if you, you spam me with ads now. I don't care if I gave you some money. Brilliant. It's one of the best April Fools you've done in a long time. If this is, in fact, an April Fools. I don't think it is. I think it's real and an honest mistake. Thank you. You've made my day. You've generally made my day. <laughs> Thank you. So here we are at the end of the video, taking the absolute piss out of Kotaku. I want, I need, no, 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 no. I don't just want to know. I need to know your thoughts on this. My dog in the background is having the best time of his life because he realises I'm having the best time of my life. I have never had so much fun when creating this video. I'm not going to have so much fun and sort of re-watch said video when I'm editing it. I am just having the best time of my life. Thank you Kotaku for making my day a spectacular one and probably I'm going to make more videos after this because I've still got Microsoft news to even discuss and Microsoft please give me a break. I have. I, I love creating things, but you give me so much work. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, and I'm sure you did, click that like button. And if you enjoy the content I want to create, which I'm not so sure about, please click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video, and hopefully it's as good as this one. Bye!